Early in the morning on Sunday, May 26th of this year, 70 to 80 plus mile per hour straight line winds moved through our area, damaging our property. Our carport was literally lifted straight up in the air and set back down on our fence, narrowly missing the dog kennel. Thankfully, no one was hurt. But while cleaning up, I found junk that I forgot I had. So today, I'm turning those pieces into bird feeders. Let's get started. So what I found in a tote that used to be at the back of the carport were these metal items that I completely forgotten that I had. And the big piece that you see is a puppy, uh, a baby gate, dog gate. And the other four pieces, if anybody remembers home interior, please comment down below. These were wall sconces. All of this is metal. So I gave it all just a kind of a wipe down with a hose and a brush. And I left it that rusty, crusty look that I like. So I then went to my stash and I found two of the metal flowers that I'd gotten from Dollar General that were only a dollar each. And then the other two I had actually hanging on um, a fence. So I thought I would give them a makeover using this beautiful blue spray paint. And then the other two using the marigold, like you see here. Now I left the stems on the longer pieces and we'll be putting everything together to make a bird feeder. Now you can find metal pieces like this um, at any thrift store, flea market. You may even have something laying around your own home. Get creative. Now I decided to put this on our privacy fence, which is behind my husband's shop. And yes, I'm doing the filming because he is not much of a cameraman. Um, so yeah, I enlisted his help and we attached the wall sconces which are going to become my bird feeders and i debated there is a hole in the center of each one and i didn't have any um solar stakes to put in there but i'm curious if they would fit in there um do you guys think if i did that that it would scare the birds away um, I just thought it would be really cool to put something um, down in the middle. Sorry about my camera work, y'all. Um, but we're just filling up each little feeder with some sunflower seeds and um, some peanut shells and peanuts. And yes, I know squirrels um, will eat peanuts. Squirrels will also eat bird seed and, you know, anything else. So... We were using what we had, and I love the way this turned out. I left it its original rusty, crusty color, and then the flowers, the metal flowers, I painted just for enough of a pop of color, and it really brightened up this fence. It gives me something to look at. Hopefully, we'll get birds. I want to take just a moment to thank each and every one of my subscribers and my viewers. You guys make this channel possible. It, you really, really do. And I'm so blessed and thankful and grateful for everybody that takes time out of their day to leave me a comment, to give me a thumbs up, to share out my videos to others because that has what that is what has helped my channel grow. And to show my appreciation, I'm going to start a monthly giveaway here on the channel beginning with this video. Now, before I get into the details, I want to make it clear. This is something that I'm doing on my own. It's, it's in no way related to the playlist that this video is a part of. This is something I'm doing on my own to show my gratitude for all you guys, you all mean the, the world to me. And so, for this month, what I'm giving away, and I wish I could afford more, um, is one of these little mini irons. You've seen me use it. 
uh, quite a bit on the channel doing decoupage projects. And it is just a handy little tool to have in your craft room. So, in order to have a chance to win, and there will only be one winner, guys. I wish I, wish I could provide more. But to enter the giveaway for this video, all you have to do is comment down below what your favorite bird is. Okay? So, just comment what your favorite bird is. Give this video a thumbs up. Give it a like. That helps it spread out to a lot more people. And it is greatly appreciated. So, I will pick a winner. No, sorry, I got ahead of myself. <laughs> you guys have until Tuesday, June the 4th to comment on this video. Then, on Wednesday, June the 5th, I will announce a winner one winner and i do apologize to all my international viewers but this is for u.s residents only because shipping is just so incredibly expensive okay um so on wednesday june the 5th i will pick one winner and i will announce that winner on my youtube community tab so be sure that um you have those notification bells set um, and check out my community tab because that's where I'm going to announce the winner and um, so yeah that's just my small way of saying how very much I appreciate each and every one of you and with that being said let's get back into the DIYs and find out about today's challenge Next, I wanted to make a hummingbird feeder. Mine had gotten blown away during the storm, and I had looked online for homemade bird feeder ideas. So, what they suggested was a small jelly jar, a plastic paper folder, like the kids would use in school, and a mason jar uh, ring. So, if you don't have a jelly jar, actually that jar came from dollar tree i believe and it already had the wire on it um but yeah i found it that was another find as we were doing cleanup and i don't know what kept it from getting broken y'all i swear so all i'm doing is just tracing out the seal onto the plastic and then i will cut it out guys this video is part of the outdoor decor playlist that is hosted by Brenda at Rustic and Lace DIY and Krista from Krista's Crappy Life. I will have their channels linked in the description box along with a great playlist. Please go by and check it out. Now once I had it traced onto the red folder and I believe hummingbirds for some reason are attracted to the color red. I'm not a bird expert, so someone comment down below that knows better than me. Um, is there any other color that hummingbirds are attracted to? Because I honestly don't know. <laughs> Once I had the circle cut out and trimmed down to fit inside the ring, I made several holes in the plastic folder using a simple hole punch. For the nectar, I boiled two cups of water and one cup of sugar, let it cool completely, poured it into my jar, and hung it back where the original was. I so hope the birds come back. I thought I would take a minute and show you guys oh, the progress that was made um, this week do doing the storm cleanup. Now, as you see, this um, is the carport. And if you look on top, there's metal bent back there and that was where it was actually picked up and then thrown into the top of our little screened-in porch there and it came to rest as I said over on our chain link fence thankfully none of the dogs were injured 
excuse the mess because we're not done yet. But um, for now, we have um, some of the fences, you know, we repaired it. We couldn't afford to go back with chain link. Um, but yeah, so at least we're all okay. The dogs are okay. And um, so I just wanted to show you um, the progress. Be sure to leave a comment and let me know what you think about these junk to treasure transformations. And do you have any junk at home that you could turn into beautiful garden decor or even bird feeders? Comment and let me know. And until next time, y'all go get your craft on. Bye.